Jennifer Rothschild is many things. She's a mother of two, a wife, author of 11 books, and she also happens to be blind. At the age of 15, Jennifer lost her sight due to a rare eye disease, but she didn't let her blindness stop her from empowering others to live beyond their limits. We're gonna meet Jennifer in a moment, but first, here's more of her story. Blindness is not something I was born with. When I was a little girl, I could see just fine. But when I entered middle school, things began to change. I became a little more clumsy. My math grades began to plummet. I didn't realize it was because I couldn't see the numbers on the chalkboard. One night, I was walking with my mom to a friend's upstairs apartment. I was tripping up those stairs, and my mom stopped and asked, Jennifer, can you not see the stairs? And my response was just as surprised. What do you mean, Mom? You can see the stairs. And within a few days, I was diagnosed at an eye hospital with a disease called retinitis pigmentosa. It's a degenerative disease in both of my eyes, in my retinas, and it's caused the retinas to deteriorate, and that meant the prognosis was total blindness. I remember driving home from that eye hospital and feeling my fingertips and wondering if I was going to have to read Braille and how I would finish high school. What started as legal blindness quickly became darker and darker until over a period of years, all the light I once saw was replaced with darkness. But within the loss, I've received so much. Blindness has introduced me to myself. I've learned that I can't change blindness, but I can change my perspective. And when my eyes are grateful, I really can see goodness and grace. I've learned that blindness does not define me, but it has truly refined me, and it still does. How much do we love that? When, when my eyes are grateful, what a lovely way Jennifer, to put welcome. it. Jennifer, welcome. Thank are you. you? I love so being here. Thank now you. Now you're spreading Thank your message across the country, and you do, do write about it in your new book. It's called Invisible. How you feel is not who you are. What a yeah. beautiful title, too, for that book. Well, don't women feel invisible? I mean, yeah. we all the older do. We get too, especially. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't have to be blind to not be able to see who you are. <laughs> Fifteen, <laughs> when you were first diagnosed, that's a tough time for young girls anyway. Oh, yeah. You know? Yeah. Was there a time when you were sort of mad at the world, mad at God because of it? It just seemed so unfair. Uh, I, you know, I think I had such a forward perspective, think, mm -hmm. thanks to just my parents' influence and the influence of my faith, that I, my first response wasn't unfair or why me or being mad. It was, okay, yeah. here we go. Now what are we going to do? Okay. And, and I'm That's grateful amazing. for that. Yes. I'm very grateful. It doesn't mean that people who do get frustrated, there's something wrong with them. Mm -hmm. It's a natural thing. Hard. Exactly, mm -hmm. exactly. I know you were saying early on that when it, you knew it was going to get darker and dar darker, you were afraid of the dark. Yeah. You were afraid of what you yes. weren't going to be able to see. But that all changed for you. Will you describe how that how that changed? Well, I think for me, um, you know, I had always had faith. And when blindness came into my life, suddenly it became this classroom, this testing place for me to discover that everything I really had believed was true. Mm -hmm. And so there is a light that comes from believing in something bigger than yourself, that's beyond yourself, that's more eternal. And that kind of light really, because of my relationship with God, gave me um, a light in that darkness, mm -hmm. a reason to have hope. And so that really, what could have been a loss, yes. what people would dread, really ushered in for me the and life I've dreamed. So because you couldn't be independent, you had to become dependent, yeah. really, right? Yeah, and, and that's, and that's a, good a great thing. thing. Yeah, people yeah. are healthier when they depend on each other. Uh huh. Yeah. I'm just looking at you, and just I'm I'm an awe. Of yeah. You. <laughs> I am. I really am. You just have a maturity and a and a, a just a radiance about mm -hmm. you that that most seeing people. Many seeing people would don't come don't come near yeah. in life. Yeah. What, and, and what's you, a, yeah, go ahead. No, I was gonna say you're beautiful. We just you have a beautiful husband, you have beautiful children. She calls him her boyfriend. I like that. Yeah, That's my, my favorite boyfriend part. for thirty years. Your bow is right. here. Boyfriend. Now when when you finding each other, having a family, did you think that was gonna be in the cards for you? No. No, no I honestly thought Who's going to want to marry a blind woman, right? Because I thought, you know, uh, that my uh, my husband to be, if I got one, yeah. would want someone who could support him and help and cook and drive carpools and, you know, he's the one who had to iron my clothes and, yeah. you know, he puts you together beautifully. Yeah. Yeah. He does, I gotta say, yeah. Yeah. excellent taste, boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> he, he's taken. <laughs> okay. uh, but but here's the thing, uh, the reason I wrote Invisible yeah. is because just like I felt when I thought, am I going to get a husband? Am I going? Yeah. Are boys going to want to? 
date me, all that. Women feel that way yeah. for altogether different the reasons, reasons. But the reason, but it's universal as women that we deal with that kind of insecurity and lack of confidence. So what advice, because there are women obviously who have insecurities um, and they worry about things like that. What advice does your book help them with? What does it Well, get? I help women understand that insecurity is not based on something that's out there or the way that other woman looks or how successful that other woman that you're competing against yeah. might be. Insecurity is based on a belief about yourself. Yeah. It's based on this idea that I lack something. Yeah. And so what I help the reader understand in Invisible is you lack nothing. And yeah. here's why. You L-A-C-K. You are loved. Yeah. You are accepted. Mm -hmm. You are complete. And you are known. Even if no one else ever <laughs> communicates that to you, that's who you are. So there's no reason yeah. to be insecure. I love what you say. Blindness doesn't uh, define me. It, it has refined and me. And it has. Yeah. Happy we it love has. You. you. You come back and just... Anytime. Oh, All right. God thank bless. you, Jennifer. Hello, Today fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.